Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Karen and I'll be showing you how I got this look. It's very simple, very easy. It took me about 10 minutes and yeah, let's go get started. I have already moisturized my face, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me N220 and this is the Dewy and Smooth and I'm using a flat brush that um, broke off already, but I love it. <laughs> And I just go ahead and pat that all over my face and I just bring it down towards the neckline as well. The brush that I'm using has a little bit of taper so it kind of defines and diffuses that um, contour very nicely which I love. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this thin makeup thinner to add into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade just because sometimes it does get a little dry um, and it's harder to apply. But I'm going to go ahead and grab my brush and I'm going to mix it just a little bit. And I usually do this once a week or whenever I feel like my pomade needs it and it works very well. So now I'm going to go ahead and start off in the middle, in the middle of my brows and just define that edge right there. And yeah, just use small flicking motions upwards or towards the growth of your hair. When you're done with your first brow, do your second brow and then go in with what I did. I went in with my Ardell eyebrow powder and what I like to do is I like to set my Anastasia dip brow just because sometimes I feel like it does kind of bleed a little bit, that makes any sense. But I feel with the powder kind of helps it um, stay on longer and more defined longer. Now I'm going in with MAC Soft Brown and I'm just applying that on the corner of my eyes and like in the inner lid, like the crease a little bit and diffusing that out. Now I'm going in with Max Brown Script and I'm applying that over the color that I just applied but focusing more on the crease. And this right here is Max Mythology Eyeshadow. With the same brush that I use to do my foundation, I use it to help me apply my eyeliner. That way I don't smudge my foundation that I have already applied. Now with a little bit of Embark from MAC, I'm going to go ahead and diffuse the line a little bit. Also doing is kind of giving the eyeliner a little bit of a smoky look and I do like to go a little bit heavy on this when I'm wearing eyelashes just because I feel the balance on it is a little bit better. Now 
Now with the same eyeshadow that we used for the eyelids from MAC Mythology, I grabbed a little bit and I just applied it on the corner of my lower eyelashes. My favorite part, lashes. I love lashes. I feel like it definitely completes every single makeup look that I do. It just looks so much better. But anyways, um, I like to use tweezers that are very thin or angled, and I will use the angled uh, tweezers in another video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But um, I really like them because um, they help me see better, and uh, the pointy ones really are very precise, so I like those a lot. Always check for balance, okay? Make sure that when you apply the second lash, you're looking at yourself and making sure that it, it kind of resembles the other eye a little bit, so it's a little bit even or balanced. to take my falsies and my eyelashes and kind of squeeze them together with my tweezers just so they look a little more natural and it kind of gives an extra sense of security so the lash it doesn't fall off. After I do that, I go ahead and apply my mascara very, very lightly. Um, I try to only focus on my real lashes just so they can kind of blend into the falsies. Now I'm applying blush and I'm using Max. Notice in the beginning of the video when I applied my foundation, I didn't set it, and the reason I didn't is because I do like my foundation to have some time to, you know, melt into my own skin if that makes any sense and set. And if I need another coat, then I'll do that and then I'll apply powder. The lips. I am using the Ireland um, in LC142, and this is a, this is part of like the nude palette that they have. I really like it because it's it's neutral. You know, I just really like a nude lip or red lip, but I'm going for a soccer look today. And now for a little bit of glow, I'm using Mac Silver Dusk, and I'm just applying that on the area and zone a little bit and my chin. look thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share comment if you'd like to see new videos thank you bye